my talent, whatever little I think it may be. He gave it to me, so I don't need to consider it little. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. He gave me my finances. He gave me my job. Thank you, Jesus. And right there, he said, I shall not want. Man. He is my provider. He's my healer. He's my all in all. Sure. He's all. Yes. One day he sent his son for me. That I want to be able to return that favor. Amen. By showing him that I want to give him my all. And by giving yes. him my all, I give him my pocketbook too. Yes. Because without him, my pocketbook life. I did like in my finances without him. I'm not saying all my finances are linked. But I'm saying that they have meant a whole lot better with him. That's good. Than with that. That's real, amen. Because yes, we all have bills. That's right. We come do from time to time, every one. Yeah. So we well, quicker than the month seem to go quicker than the yeah, month. That comes from time to time. That but again? I found when I give to him what's due him yes. from my heart. Whatever I purpose in my heart to give him. It, it could be a tenth for you. It could be 20% for you. It could be 100% for you. Whatever you purpose in your heart to give, that's what we need to give. Let's don't put no limits on what God can do or what we have to do. Let's just do it from the heart. Amen. Let's give what our heart tells us to do. But sometimes I give more than my 10% because the Lord tells me to. And it may not be in finances. It may be in material things I have at home. It may be in my time. Because Joey and Becky come by the thrift store Friday evening about 4 o'clock. And I don't know how many spoke to Joey, but he can talk. <laughs> He's a lot like the pastor once you get him to talk. <laughs> stop. But that's a good thing. When somebody has a pastor's heart, you don't want to be the quiet mouse in the corner. You want them to be the one that will stand up and speak. Amen. Amen. Well, we got to talking, and it went on and on. They went to leave two or three times. And, and, and we kept talking. I think it's about 7.30. Somebody started beating on the glass at the thrift store. And a girl come to ask us to pray for her grandmother. Her grandmother's late 70s, early 80s. And she has cancer. And the girl knew first place she came was to us to pray. And Jody stepped back and he said, you may be associate pastor at church, but you're pastor here. And they come to get us to pray. Amen. So was, she didn't ask us to pray right then. She just said, remember my grandmother when you pray. I said, no, let's pray right now. Amen. Well, she grabbed Kathy around her neck and started bawling. And we all gathered around and prayed for her. And I'm believing like that little baby that the Lord's going to inter intervene on her grandmother's behalf. Yes. Because in the psalm it said he answered. He healed all our diseases. Amen. And cancer is a name. That's right. So That's right. when we give of our time, our talents, our tithes, we can depend on God to answer our every need. I believe. Whether it be a prayer for our friend, our neighbor, ourselves, prayer for our finances, a new job, a better job, whatever. When we do it, we can bank that God will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing. Amen. We can't receive. Amen. So if you want to bring your offering, shake somebody's hand, tell them you love them, because that's what Jesus is.